I mean, I have never, ever, I think, in my life, been with a girl without being passionately in love with her uh, for the time that it lasted, however long or however short that was. And I think this is a very Egyptian or Oriental characteristic, this great um, show of passion, of melodrama in all the relationships that we have normally. It, it is genuine at the time that it's happening. And it's probably not really there because it disappears so quickly. But th there's no doubt that I never acted that I loved someone or that I had passion for someone without feeling that passion. So I had hundreds of huge moments of passion, but I don't think that I was genuinely in love because if I had been, I would have lived with that person. I wonder, do you think that's maybe because you, you're very idealistic about relationships? Perhaps not. I don't, I don't think that's the reason. I think that um, it's very difficult, first of all, I think in general, for anyone to find someone that you can really live with, adjust to. And I think that most people, what they do is they get the next best to what, you know, their ideal would be. <clears throat> but I'm not able to compromise a lot. And you need to compromise when you live with someone. I can't give up certain things that I enjoy doing. Uh, and uh, I don't want to. Because although you can do that very easily when you're in love, when the passion is there, later on in life you keep giving up things, you start having a resentful feeling about having given up certain things. I think the idea would be to meet someone who accepts all the things that you like and that you accept all the things that they like without having to adjust at all. And do you, do you still think that, that you might yet meet that person? I haven't given up hope. 